Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of um, microcontroller and these are the super important questions as you can see here and before starting uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this so let's get started the first is the definition part of the um, task process threads and explain process structure process state and state transition all these definitions sh should be very well known to you it should be like in your mind whenever you go for the exam because it's a very repeated topic and super important topic okay it's a very simple definition it, it can be very scoring topic if this uh, gets asked you should not miss this one okay next we have the difference between multitasking and multi-threading a simple difference one line difference is there that you need to know and after that you have to add the um, extra points uh, regarding whatever you know uh, in each of these domain okay next one is with any diagram explain operating system architecture architecture first you have to make and after that mention what are the components present in that and what are the um, different things used to um, perform like what are the, its functions you have to mention and um, how it gets embedded into the uh, main system and the, uh, how it works okay so these are the four key points you have to mention in this question moving on we have the explain the following simulator emulator id boundary scan and round robin process each of this they can ask separately as well if they ask separately you have to mention in depth so make sure you watch my theory video in that i've explained a to z whatever you want to uh, write in this um regarding these questions so make sure you know uh, it very well make some notes and refer to it before going for exam the last question is functional and non-functional requirements super important question for selecting rtos for an embedded system real-time operating system what are the different functional and non-functional requirements is a super important question you have to mention this uh, each key point is then inside the functional and non-functional you have to mention that very well as well as give the explanation for each okay so basically that's all what is there for uh, this video and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel and your support help me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one